Hello, I welcome back to Genshin Impact. Oh, I'm, I'm really thoroughly enjoying my time in Fontaine. It's uh, kind of a shame that uh, I've had to kind of skip a whole lot of the game to get here, but it's fine. We're going to do the quest that we came here to do and then get back into our regular schedule and work our way back here as and when the story uh, dictates it. So the first thing I want to do, um, I've... I've Doing all the quests in Fontaine has given me a lot of Prima Gems, so I've managed to pick up 11 uh, feints. So we're going to have another temple, I'll just do the 10 I think, and we're going to go for Yolan. I am on a guaranteed, um, uh, because I, I, I lost my 50-50 last time out. Doesn't mean we're going to get it this time, because I'm uh, obviously nowhere near um, what's it called, a pity. So uh, we'll try it anyway. 10 wishes, here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think we got her. Oh, okay. Show me. Show me that character. Let's get through there. We did get a four star thing as well, I think. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's teasing me. It is teasing me. There she is. Elan. Ah. Fantastic. That's so cool. And we've also... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, I'm laughing so hard because the only reason I came to Fontaine was to get better. Ah, I guess it worked. I guess now we can uh, we can get his uh, consolation. Oh, we got better. <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's that's a pretty great temple. Uh, Yolan and and Bennett. that's amazing. Punch Master Stardust as well. Okay, so we'll save the um, the rest for uh, the next banner, I guess. Right. Wow. What a way to start. That was incredible. So, okay, the plan today. That's kind of throwing me off. Uh, we're going to be doing um, Azure Dash. Uh, this is the uh, next kind of one we need to do. Uh, if I just quickly get onto onto here, uh, the event. So this is the event we're trying to do. The Mega Mecha Melee. So just to recap you, um, I'm recording these all back to back. So this is still not yet unlocked. The third one, we've done one and two. Uh, we have the, um, the testing one, done one and two. And again, this one's going to be unlocked tomorrow. Uh, so this one, we last time out um, in a very strange episode that was kind of throwing me all over the place. We went underwater for the first time. It was incredible. It was a lot of new stuff being thrown at me, but I had to do that quest to then be able to unlock this uh, this quest. So that's what we're doing today. Oh wow, that was super, super exciting. Where is he over there? Oh man. It's in there. <laughs> oh, maybe we'll take a look at those characters in a bit, but let's get this underway. Welcome, dear guests. We meet again. This has not been long, and yet I miss you a little already. Hmm, you sweet talker. Ah, woe is me. Loathe am I. How the pain stings. Perhaps I'd best get back to work. Let me state first that the planned data collection project will be divided into two parts. One will be run by Albier and the other by me. On my side, we wish to model the agility of a champion duelist and so we'll need you to complete a few underwater speed challenges. Huh? Your champion duelists have to train underwater? Who knows? I do not know one personally and I don't think the boss knows any either. He probably just thinks that it's cooler this way. He originally wanted to install 10 different water drawing mechanisms that can spray jets of water, but eventually gave up on this idea due to the high cost. Uh, that does sound pretty cool. Royal Fontaine is the realm of water after all, and if this is to be sold in other nations, a little Fontanian flair is needed. Anyway, we've prepared a handbook with relevant details. Please peruse it at your disposal. Well, are you two rowing to go already? Let me make some preparations. No problem. Data collection devices have already been placed over there, so you need not worry about them. You just need to focus on completing the challenge. Okay. Challenge we do. Oh, wow, there's a lot of things here. We've got one, two, three, four, and then what these ones, one day, and then those last two will be done uh, in one day. So, what we want to do complete the challenge, complete the challenge with no less than 40 seconds remaining. Complete the challenge with less, no less than 60. Okay, so we're looking to go just basically as quickly as possible. Go to the challenge. So that's the challenge. 
how do we get there? Let's navigate there. Okay, so I found myself outside. It's, it's really quite difficult to get your way out of there. Um, but I think there should be, I'm guessing it's going to be underwater, a t uh, teleport point. I guess we'll just drop down into the water here. We'll dive down. Using our skills from last time out. Oh, let's grab one of them. In case we need it. Ah, yes. Okay, so I'm going to unlock this. In case we need to get out here again. Um, and then I guess I just need to make my way. God, it's so beautiful under here, isn't it? God, this is incredible. I need to make my way down. Oh, this is the challenge we need to do. Okay. I need to be careful for all these uh, creatures. Right, what is the challenge? In, okay, in torrential turbulent charge, your character will automatically move forward in the water. You can adjust that direction to a certain extent. We kind of did that last time out. Turbulent bubbles might appear in open water challenges, and contact with such bubbles will enable your character to charge forward a certain distance. Make use of turbulent bubbles to efficiently reduce time consumption. Hidden obstacles might appear during the challenge. These cannot be seen unless your character gets within a certain distance of them. Contact with them will induce punishment. Your challenge time remaining will decrease. Oh, okay. This, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun, isn't it? Okay. So we want to head towards these. Uh, avoid these things. Oh, okay. Ah! Okay, we've got some bubbles coming up. So I think to get the right time, we're going to need to kind of hit like all of these bubbles, right? And avoid all the obstacles. So we go up. So what we're going to do, we have 60 seconds left, I think, was it? To get the best score. Okay, some more bubbles. Let's try and get all of these. Got him. Okay, we've got some speed on there. Come on. Up, got him. There's got to be some more obstacles at some point, isn't there? Oh, I think we're almost there. No, that's just a teleport waypoint. I think we did it. Nice. With loads of time remaining. Fantastic. That was pretty good. So where did that teleport waypoint go? Right down there. We'll, we'll grab that. There's just so much stuff. I don't want to do too much exploring, that's the thing. Because obviously uh, I want to kind of save this for another time. So I'm not here for the story or explanation or anything like that. I just want to get this quest done. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at this. That should mean that we have our first one done. Uh, yep. Yeah, we got everything. This is good. Okay, two. Go to challenge. Where is this one? That's quite a way away. Okay, that's fine because we can go back to... What are these what are these things? Oh, Barrel Conch Rich Area. Okay, now that's fine, but I don't need to do that right now. Oh, hold on, there's one there. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, that's the one we just did, I guess. This is the next one, right? Or was that the one we just did? Council navigation. What is this one? Okay, hold on. Oh yeah, no. That, yes, look. Best remaining time, 1 minute 25. That's the one we did. Council navigation to that. So we want now want to do this one. Yes, let's go to there. So let's zoom over to here. That's a bit closer. Let's get it done. So these things are pretty cool actually because I'm just kind of like sprinting along and I can do this and that just refills it. Yeah, so I'll just keep on uh, sprinting. 
And here we go, it's the next challenge. Okay, uh, we know this. So, turbulent rings will be present during the challenge, and traveling through these rings will enable your character to charge forward a certain distance. Make use of the turbulent rings. Basically, the same as the bubbles, really. Special obstacles might appear, we know that. We'll watch out for these this time. Oh, they're going to like spin around or something, maybe? I don't know. Okay, let's go. So now we've got the rings and a different sort of obstacle. Okay, yeah, so they could be like blocked in certain directions. Oh my word, that's kind of difficult to judge where I was there, but okay. This is where we came earlier, wasn't it? Oh, and we've got these as well. Okay, full on concentration mode because I want to complete these tasks. This feels very kind of Mario esque in a way. <laughs> Some of these enemies and the kind of things that we're doing here. Did I do it? Well, that was a quick one. 118 left. That seems pretty good to me. I've got loads of stuff here. What have we got? So, event details. Number two, complete. Easy. Look at all this stuff again. It's incredible. There's been, there's been like several new events since I started playing and I've not done any of them. Um, this is the first one that I've really kind of gone for. So it's an experience. Right, we've got to go all the way over there. Okay, that's fine. We can go over to here. Okay, here we go. This looks like the next challenge to do. Just avoiding it. There's so much stuff that I'd love to do, but I, I'm just going to have to wait. We'll save this for later. We know that there's going to be so much fun stuff to do in Fontaine when we get there. I've only just got to in Zuma, really. Right, let's go. We have bubbles in this one. Ooh, almost missed that one. This is great. I'm just, oh, moving a sneaky. I knew they'd, they'd have to up the difficulty. Uh, honestly, this, this game just constantly just delivering. It's so good. I haven't got time for flowers. Out. Okay, spinning around, where are they going to go? Oh, nearly. I think I did it. Nice. Fantastic, we're doing really well. Getting these done nice and quick. So many more premium gems as well. Love it. Okay, so we've got one more to do. One more to do. Somehow I need to get to there. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure this is the right place, but look at this place. Where dark tides echo. Seems like almost like a like a pirate kind of thing. And these people they're not uh, hostile. So yeah, so I just kind of 
I swam all the way over here, which was incredible. It's something about just swimming around. It's very relaxing, very enjoyable. I'm absolutely loving the water. There is, this is what we need. And there is the challenge down there. Look at this place. Oh, God, I long to just, just explore and speak to everybody. Just dive. That's incredible. I love that. Right, challenge. The last one we can do today, I think. Oh, this is amazing. Just absolutely loving this game. Every single day I play it. Oh, that was close. Okay, okay, I've got these things. They're going to move. We knew that. Careful. Down here, grab the, the ring. Popping up, nothing too major. Okay, let's go this way. All well done! Easy. Oh, that's so good. Okay, so I think that's going to be all we can do today. We'll collect. There you go. Yeah, and the next one, unlocking one day. So yeah, we're going to have to come back tomorrow to do the rest. But that was so good. Yeah, so tomorrow, tomorrow's video is going to be so good. We're going to get the last one of each of these done. I'm assuming, yeah, so just one left of that. Uh, we've got two left on this one. But if they're like these ones, that should be fine. They're both unlock on the same day. And then we've got one more combat thing here as well. Um, yeah, I am so looking forward to that. Toy War situation map. Oh, oh yes, and we have this as well. Whatever. Oh, is that just a reward? Not sure. Oh no, that's probably another sort of story quest kind of thing, which we'll do tomorrow as well. So there's still a lot more to do, but we're getting there. Almost done. I can't wait. So right, thank you so much for, for watching. This has been absolutely incredible. Somebody in the comments section said not to bother because uh, this quest was a bit boring, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it. <laughs> I really am. Oh, it's another viewpoint. Okay, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed this one. And uh, I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye.